In from the Collingwood Footy Club, Dane Swan, everybody. Yeah. Uh, did you guys bump into each other in the hallway with their stern words? Yeah, it was a couple of looks. My <laughs> <laughs> games have begun. Yeah, he, he jumped over and tried to spoil the ball over me. But, yeah. um, they want a ball there. So. Yeah, right. What do you do with your weekend off? Do you do you um, get to? Do you have to train? Are there any commitments that you have? So no, the boys got the weekend off yep. this weekend, so um, get away. And the last weekend, obviously before. Um, the last two games, you can get away and do something with your friends or family. So the boys will do what they want. And um, a few went to the footy last night, and that's better. Just cruise and get ready yep. for, for the week's training yep. ahead. Yep. You can't do anything if you're a Collingwood player without having a camera on you, Dane, as you well know. Yep. And last night, your teammates did get together in a in a box and had they a look. Terrified. At... <laughs> they look terrified. They're terrified. That's what box. Lemo says. Do you? I mean, does this kind of thing appeal to you? Were you? There? Yeah, I was there. I was down on the fence. Were you? Yeah. Away. No, I wasn't. <laughs> 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 no, I was actually there, but I actually seen the camera coming and, and uh, just slipped up the back. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Camera you, shower. Yeah. What, was, what yeah. was the feeling as much as you're willing to share from the from your teammates um, watching the Hawks? Oh, we haven't really had a chat yet because um, a few of them left at half time, but me, Bucks and a few others stayed, but... Um, you know, they had a great first half and it was just a Sydney comeback, but I think the Hawks might have, you know, took the foot off the pedal a little bit and Sydney are a good side and they got back in it, but I think the Hawks were just a bit too good and, and deserved to be in a prelim. You've been travelling very well. It seems like the press and a few people are punching away, trying to find weaknesses, trying to trying to derail the Collingwood the juggernaut, which is heading towards another flag. And I have to ask you about Mark Neal. Does this decision at all... A couple of weeks out uh, for, for, for your, your centre coach to leave, uh, does it disrupt you in any way? Does it affect uh, you personally? It'll probably enhance our midfield. He's been, he's been holding his back. <laughs> 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 Quickly they turn. When you leave Colling, when you leave Colling, <laughs> yeah, right. told us that. So, um, <laughs> but uh, no, uh, it's, it's a hard thing to know because he's, we've had him all year, but, um, you know, I'm sure Bucks or Craig McCray or whoever they decide when we well, get into training Monday, they'll do a great job. Is there any chance hey. Hawthorne could rent him for a week? <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Be interesting. They can rent what me a, for a week. Rent you for yeah, a week. Price right. is right. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, um, who uh, is hard to read these days, was fairly philosophical about the decision of Neil to leave, and here's what he had to say on radio. Oh. Uh, Picasso was asked one day, uh, would you do a painting, and he did it, and he said, and he did it in about 15 minutes, the bloke, and he said, that's uh, $2,000, the bloke said, what, for 15 minutes? And he said, no, no, for a lifetime. Yeah, and if there's uh, anyone who'd know anything about the art world, it'd have to be this bloke, I reckon. Um, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Yeah, you're a man of fashion. What are you, are you, are you a beret man? Uh, I am of... not, but Mick certainly is, obviously. But I'm just amazed that Mick was around the Picasso era. <laughs> <laughs> Dane, what insights can you give us into Mark Neal? Why would Melbourne want him as coach and what will be his distinguishing feature? Yeah, well, I think he's a school teacher by trade as well, so I think he's a you know, great communicator and um, knows how to get his point across and... I think um, he sort of really drove the, the midfield set up and structures this year and Mick give him, obviously Mick's a big rap for him, give him sort of carte blanche to go do what he wants with us midfield and mm -hmm. he sort of doesn't, Mick never comes over the top about us, Mick, he just lets Mark do his thing. And wow, that Mick, is big though, isn't it? Yeah, Nick, I mean, yeah. the midfield's obviously the engine room and Absolutely. he's been driving at this guy. Yeah, so he's sort of everything we do out there is was run by him in pre-season and, you know, he obviously asks input guys like Pendles and Bolly and myself but, you know, for the most of the time, it's all Mark. It's all Neil. He's been Neil's baby. Who's going to take over this next week? Do you know? Uh, I heard Joffa was going <laughs> to. <laughs> hey, tell us about. Tell us about. You're in ripping corner tonight, and, and you've been in oh ripping. We're not surprised actually, because your form since you've come back from Arizona has been nothing short of unbelievable. You're averaging about 36 possessions a week, or some ridiculous number since coming back. What what happened over there? What did you do? It's like a mystical place that yeah, we know nothing about. What's like going on? It's like the new Tibet or something, you know? Yeah, it's uh, it's not bad. It's um, we got some sun. That's that's what we got over there. We got I saw you in sun. sunbathing for all, yeah, ten days or something. I started and wild. I thought we we're doing something naughty, but no, that clearly is not the case. So, so they can just, leave me alone. So it's flat out the whole time, though, training-wise over uh, there. Uh, not we don't train 
15 hours a day. It was pretty much when we went over in the middle of the year, we trained uh, probably three, four hours a day, but it was pretty solid. And then it was just good to freshen up and get away from the fishbowl that is Melbourne around and footy. And freshen up you did, because I follow go. you on Twitter, Dane Swan, and I saw you post this picture from Arizona. Uh, <laughs> there you are, doing a bit of shopping. Uh, yes, yeah, that was one of our main sessions, actually. That was <laughs> <laughs> it was like yeah. supermarket points. <laughs> <Absolutely, yeah. laughs> it's good fun. Are they still target testing you? Uh, Oh, they, they have been. You haven't been done for 10 days or something, so it's, okay. it's, yeah, it's, it's slept well. It would be annoying. You've just, you've be, it would be annoying for you. But anyway, the Brownlow's coming up, and you're still a chance. I believe you're a chance mm. to win the Brownlow. I know you are going to go to the Brownlow. You? You, you were talk, you've been talking about not going. Uh, I would like not to go. Yeah, but, but your um, girlfriend wants to go. We know your girlfriend wants no, to go. She was in, the, it was in the paper. She reported <laughs> the dress that she's going to wear apparently is a, a black and nude dress. Awesome. Which is, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, know. well, I mean, you... you Got form on this front anyway. The, the, I'm not doing. the outfit you wore last year was quite revealing. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> It's like a really tough man power, isn't it? Bow tie and I'm done. <laughs> I'd give it a run around again this year if I were you. It was a good look. Oh, well, yeah. yep, Bow tie and I'm good. Yep. Special <laughs> guest, Mickey Malloy. They're, they're a relaxed bunch down at Collingwood. Oh, you, you seem to know where you are and you're travelling comfortably and you don't mind getting a bit lippy with some of the journalists. <laughs> and I, I quite like this. Here's, a, here's an example of a young up-and-comer Pendlebury having a go. <laughs> uh, we don't have a match this week and a week off just to sort of free up a bit mentally and physically. How does the week off work? You guys, Scott? Uh, you don't play this weekend. <laughs> to see that and personally he's learning from the master which is yourself now we've got any number of grabs we could play here but one of my personal favourites mm. is one uh, after you'd received a 96 point thumping at Geelong and you were door stopped out the front of the club the boys concerned about last night at all? no we're all happy with it yeah. he's good yeah happy to lose by 96 points oh, lost by 100 disappointed we didn't lose by 100 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just one of many isn't it uh, well, you ask a stupid question. You get a stupid answer, I suppose, really. Yeah, yeah, and that's why you are this year's 2011 MVP Smart Ass of the Year. Trophy I win all year. So <laughs> it's going to be the only one I win all year. So <laughs> <laughs> all right, now, Scotty, off the back of that Geelong game, a lot of, pe- <laughs> a lot of people have said oh, Geelong's got Collingwood covered. They're in better nick, they're healthier, they're fitter, they're listed in better condition. Do you do you think that Geelong's going past you now? Do you feel like they're the side to mm. be beaten for this year's flag? Um, well, Internally, we, we, we don't think so. We believe that we've got a game plan structure to beat anyone on any given day. And I really thought you were going to say yes then. <laughs> no, I was really thinking about it, but I thought I'd get in trouble come Monday, so you one serious one. Does the commentary to that degree suit you? Um, whose commentary? Well, the commentary that Andy's talking oh, about. Uh, to be honest, it doesn't really worry. So we don't, we're not fussed about external um, commentary and things like that. That's why we probably answer questions like me and Pendles do, because we're not really fussed about it, and we'll just go along doing our thing, and hopefully um, with Tom on ready back, we put in a good show for it. It's a night. good attitude. Hey, it's Swanee, all the best for next weekend. Good on you. Don't Swanee, a very special guest.